Ladies, we're over the rules in the back. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Listen to my commands at all times. I want you to fight hard, but I want you to fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Good, step back, good luck to both. If you bet the no <laughs> touch gloves prop, go cash that ticket. We have been waiting so long or so it seems for this rivalry to be consummated. It shall be done tonight. Claudia Gadelia in her first UFC title fight against the champion, Joanna Jacek. The champion in the traditional black and gold. The challenger is in white. We are underway. Sometimes we see fighters and they really hate oh. each other. They hold back, but not the case tonight as Gadelia is off to a fast start. Early knockdown for the Brazilian. Good recovery by Young Jacek. Excellent takedown. Here's the top control she's going to need to maintain. It was an excellent stiff jab right on the nose of the champion that dropped her. Butterfly guard here for the champion, now in half guard. Gadelia, a very good Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. Good work here from the champion, getting back to her feet so she can break the grip here. It was Young Jacek who had the knockdown in round one of their previous meeting. That was December 2014. Gadelia gets it tonight. And that was a very close round as well. That knocked out won her the round in, in what was a razor close fight. Excellent work there by the champion though. That's gotta be huge for her confidence. Put in a bad grappling position, able to work her way up. Good head position here for the champ. Well, as of today, for the first time since 2006, there are no Brazilian champions in the UFC. Gedelia trying to change that. Good combination by Young Jacek. I like the pressure of Gedalia, but she's got to let her hands go, work body and head. You don't want to let the champ get to the center of the octagon where she can really dictate the pace and rip out constant combinations. Good footwork, though, from Ioana. Nice uppercut by the champion. Complete wrap-up of all the action from Vegas on our post-fight show tonight. Right after this main event on FS1, you can also watch it live on Fox Sports Go. Under three minutes now to go in round one. The champion feels like five rounds really benefits her, thinks that Claudia will fade. But looking at Claudia's last fight against Jessica Aguilar, you know, she had very good pace in the third round. Grant, not a five round fight, but she maintained an excellent pace in that fight, did an awful lot of striking, showed some improvements. So double underhooks here, looking for another takedown. And there you get a look at just how strong Claudia Gedalia is. Yeah, Jacek has stuffed the takedowns of almost everybody in her career, with the exception of Gedalia. We mentioned landed seven the first time. Two for two unofficially out of the shoot tonight. Excellent start here. She's landing good, effective ground yes. strikes here with some pop on him. You want to do a nice job creating some space. She's got a left underhook. Good work from Yoana to get back to the fence, start working back to her feet. And she knew, she expected this. She knew she was going to get a heavy dose of pressure, constant clinch work. Worked in a nice elbow, but Claudia responds with one of her own. Big deep breath from the champion, back to the center of the octagon now, with 90 seconds to go in round one. Inside leg kick is there for Muay Thai practitioner Young Jacek. She'll continue to work off of what is a very crisp jab. But she's a, the difference in the hand speed, it jumps off the page. Yuana's hand speed on a totally different level, nice front kick. You see, a lot of that wrestling, it, it, it sucks away the gas tank. Claudia is still trying to recover from the repeated, take, the repeated takedown attempts. And the pressure just never stops coming. You see head strike advantage for Gadelia, a lot of those on the ground, but Young Jacek in perpetual motion. And the champ's gonna have to land more, and she... Have to do a little bit more if 
She wants to try and steal this round after being taken down twice and dropped at the start of the round. Nice counter left by Gedalia. First round winding down here. And Jacek continuing to go back to that push kick, and it's there. I'll tell you, a lot of people throw that front kick just to create some distance. Not the champ, man. She digs it into your solar plexus, trying to knock the wind out of it. Again, a good counter from Gedalia. Nice left hand from Gedalia. Both fighters landing down the stretch. Round two next. Here's a look at the left hand that dropped the champion right at the start of the round. Allow Gedalia to start her wrestling and her pressure. Right. Get up. And of course, the first thing out of her chief corner, Andre Pedernaris' mouth, was you always got to be moving. Certainly, they respect the strikes that are coming back their way from Poland's young Jacek. Certainly, we saw the champ start to get a rhythm at the end of that round, and she's come out fast and furious here in round two. Stops the initial takedown attempt, but Gedalia has double underhooks. We saw her use those to rip Ioana down to the ground in the middle of round one. Nice clinch strikes here by Gedalia. Very nice work. Failed on the takedown attempt, but used it to land an elbow and a right hook. And this kind of clinch work is tough. It is a grind, exhausting. And very nice work there from Gedalia. You talked about the diversity in her takedown attempts from body locks to shots, single legs, double legs. Excellent wrestling. No, don't hit the back of the head. Gedalia, 7 of 16 on the takedown attempts in the first meeting, 43%. 3 of 3 out of the shoot tonight. And she's attacking that post hand, that left hand of Ioana. She's trying to use it to get her hips to the fence. And I like how effective, even when she may lose position, Gedalia doing an awful lot of striking mixed with her grappling here tonight. These are good, hard shots here. And Ioana choosing not to block them because she needs that left arm to post. But look at the right leg of the champion. Claudia Gedalia has it wrapped up and straight. She's keeping hip pressure on the knee, and that's stopping the potential get up of the champion. Excellent technique. She's also got that right arm somewhat trapped. These are the small refinements needed to hold the champion down like she couldn't do in the first meeting. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Crowd pops as Ion Jacek gets back to her feet and lands an elbow on the inside. Watch fingers. Double underhooks again for Claudia Gedalia. Ioana has had a really hard time pummeling underhooks and, and, and winning the small battles of this clinch game. She's got to free her right leg here and use her left hand to separate and push away the head of Claudia Gedalia. Gedalia very accurate, making these little pot shots count. She has, she's been so active. Hey, the takedown's not there for me, it's let me punch you until I can get you to move, and then I get your feet in the position I want to finish a takedown. And we talk so much about Young Jacek and her activity. Gedalia, very busy striker as well. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. And this is grueling for both women. Really tough style of fight, wears the arms out. Reggio is able to create some space. She drops her hips just in time. Good defense so far from Ioana, but again, it's Claudia pressing the action, controlling her, freeing the right hand to land some strikes. Pretty good elbow by Ion Jacek. And we've seen Travis Brown, who fights tomorrow night, he's finished two heavyweights with those elbows. Yeah, pin the foot in between the canvas and the fence. Nice angle on the elbow there. And you want to get creative. She knows she's not going to get much room, so she's going to land any strike she can. Battle for position here. Excellent work from the champ, who's now on top. Gedalia going to try and roll to a leg lock, maybe use that to get back to her feet. Nice elbows landed by the champion, who's looking for a darts choke here. Easily defended and stopped from Gedalia. You know, Jacek says she's been working a lot on new jiu-jitsu techniques. 
wouldn't appear to be her advantage in this fight. Under one minute now in round two of a possible five. Underhook here for Gedalia. The champion's doing a better job of defending the takedowns here, but she's still really struggling to separate, get herself out of the clinch, at least get her back off the fence. Gedalia maintaining the body lock here. Good way to mute that potent offense of Young Jacek. Now the champion has control of the right wrist. Let's see if she could use that and get her back on the fence, and she does. Ten seconds for her to unload. And Gedalia better move. Don't want to be a standing target in front of Yale Jacek. Ten minutes down. No second to get the takedown. Sneaks in a nice elbow there. Left hook. Goes right back to the body lock here. Able to turn the corner. Lace the left leg behind. And then here's that nice ground and pound. Traps the post arm. And then here. Nice judo work from the champ, able to keep her top position here and get on top for a second. Gedalia shaking her arms out there and walking like she's got some heavy legs. It's easy for me to say the key is constant pressure, but you know to, to execute the kind of game plan Gedalia's executing, it takes a tremendous amount of cardio. And Jay Check snapping off the jab here. Nice combination, able to land. And that's what she's known for. You send one punch her way, she rips three back at you. Look for the champ to start working the body a little bit if she thinks the challenger is a little tired. Nice left hook there, though, from Gedalia. After Again. the overhand right hand landed. So Gedalia has found her range consistently. Unofficially has landed over 60 total strikes already. And again, a very well-timed right hand. Gedalia's counters are outstanding in the timing of that takedown as well. So make it four takedowns for Gedalia. Pretty good get up here for Yeon Jacek. That is disheartening for the challenger. You know, looking in the corner of Yuana, she was not breathing very heavy at all. She's a very well-conditioned athlete. On similar style takedown, but this time Gedalia is able to roll through. You see that a lot when you see judo throws attempted. Now we're seeing some deep breaths from the champion. So Gedalia has now landed four or more takedowns in all four of her UFC fights. She's got her hands connected. We'll see if she looks just to grab the waist, free that left hand and land some of those strikes or maybe even sneak in another elbow. But the champions had a really hard time getting her back off the fence in this fight. Sneaks in a nice right elbow there. Instead of making space to create elbows, she's got to make enough space that she can dig an underhook, get her back off the fence, and she does it. Nicely done, lands a knee to the body as well. Over a nice right elbow from Gedalia. And as soon as this separation, champion starts throwing. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Some very deep breaths from the challenger. And now the champion's starting to work the body. She is going to force Gedalia to dig deep here. The pressure has stopped. She's got Gedalia standing in one place. Feet are flat. Nice counter right hand from Gedalia, but Young know, Jacek starting to find her range. And eats three in return for it. Look how fast that jab is. Just such a natural striker. Beautiful combination there. Throws a for days. She throws a straight jab cross, and before that third left hand comes out, she switches angles and gets it, sneaks it right between the defense. Just some really elite level striking from the champion. Again, nice stick and move there. Gedalia might have caught her on the way out. And Gedalia's trying to catch her breath here from all that wrestling, but she still has some good timing on her right hand. She's waiting for the right counter opportunities. And if I'm the champion, I am digging to the body. Every chance I get a great, another takedown for Gedalia. You know, Jake Check getting a little bit over aggressive there. Gedalia made her pay for it. But the pressure from the champion just never stops. It is a lot to deal with. Well, the interesting thing here is if Gedalia can complete this, ride her out a little more, and she may not need to. Who knows where those judges' scorecards sure. are, but she could potentially be up three rounds to none. Right. And now look at the champ reversing position now. She's going to unload. 
Certainly the champion has landed the most effective strikes here. And now it looks I mean, like the momentum has totally shifted. How about the body language from the lot of young Jay Checks that get up. Back to the center of the octagon now. Gedalia, though, would appear to your point to be winning this fight. But five round championship right. fights, winning the first two rounds doesn't matter. You got to be able to close. Oh, another nice right left combination from the champ. Gedalia covering up here. Don't want to be. Oh! Oh, she an elbow from Gedalia! Knocks the OJ check down briefly. Great recovery there by the champion. But Gedalia, man, showing you a champion's heart as well tonight. Right. Absolutely. And I've seen fighters before in five round fights. They're tired late from third round. They find their second win in the championship rounds. Oh. A nice elbow from the champ. Oh, returned by Gedalia. Gedalia with a big deep breath. She'd be wise to start to circle. It is tough. She is tired right now, leaving her feet in the same spot. Oh, nice left hook, though, to close the round. What a round. What a round. Let's take a look at the elbow landed by Claudia Gedalia. Rotates around, hits her there. Doesn't look like a knockdown. Looks like the champ was just got a little off balance there. There's a nice elbow from the champ here. Only one loss for these two fighters. That was Gedalia against Young Jake Check, and you see why the champion is undefeated. Even while experiencing adversity tonight, you do feel like she's in control of the fight. Man. Vicious combo there. Round four, and this woman looks like she's just getting warmed up. Barely breathing heavy. And she is so fast, very quick. And watch as she lands strikes quickly, gets out, either moves straight back out of range or rotates off on an angle. High level stuff. Switching stances, mid combination. But she's got to be weary because as this happens several times, Gedalia level changes and blows through with a double leg. And now Young Jay Check starting to widen the gap in terms of these significant strikes. Landed 95 to 29. Gedalia's had a couple knockdowns, six takedowns secured. A definite bounce in the step of the champion here, trying to work into striking range. And you just have to wonder if Gedalia has it in the gas tank to repeat what she's been able to do early in this fight with that constant pressure and all those consistent and relentless takedown attempts. It takes a ton of energy. Just don't know if she's got any more in her to execute like that. And you do really well. What is it going to take to break someone like Young Jay Check? You can take her down, knock her down, and still fresh as a daisy. You can't. When, when you get a special fighter like this, it's that mentally tough. You can't. The only way you break them is you just have to knock them out. They, they, they're, they're still human. They can't help that. But you're not going to break the heart of either of these women. Just over three minutes to go. Gedalia pressing forward, trying to get into the pocket. Excellent Take down. footwork from the champion. Beautiful hand speed. Nice stick and move there by Young Jacek. She's changing stances often, consistently moving, and we haven't seen a takedown attempt yet from Gedalia here in round four. Flush right hand landed by the champ. And a nice left hook from Gedalia. After an elbow from Young Jacek opened up a little cut under the left eye of Gedalia. Gedalia lands well when Joanna stays in the pocket at the end of her combinations. That's exactly what Gedalia should be looking to do. At the end of these combinations, look and see if she can get her in the tie clinch. I mean, the hand speed, just oh. absurd. And, and coupled with the footwork, she's no longer there for that explosive takedown attempt from Gedalia. And now Gedalia's just eating punches left and right. Oohs and ahs from the crowd every step of the way. Another one-two for Young Jake Check. And the counters are coming slower and slower from Gedalia. Most dominant round for the champion here, the fourth under two minutes to go. It's a 
surprised you don't see the champ going to the body a little bit more. You know your opponent's tired. Exploit it. Big round three, and now round four for the reigning defending champion. It was only show strikes. There were several takedowns for Gedalia in round three as well. Excellent jab. Big Ooh, overhand huge right. right hand. Gedalia lands. Young Jake check does as well. Just over a minute to go here in round four. The champ is chopping down that lead leg of Gedalia. Takedown would be useful for Gedalia here I to just try don't know to she, stem the tide. And I just don't know if she's got it in the tank right now. Oh, these punches are starting to take a toll. Joanna is really loading up on these shots, sitting down on her punches. And now the elbow. Counter right hand has been there for Gedalia, but the volume of Young Jake check just way too much here in this fourth round. And, and Gedalia's punches are coming slower and slower. And now, really in the last two minutes, the champ has gone to the body repeatedly. Yeah, you saw it in the back and forth banner from these two though. You want to point it to his side and says, don't leave it in the hands of the judges. I think she'd be smart as a champion to go for the finish here. Well, you know, this third round, run. she certainly outstruck Adelia, most likely won the third round, but you never know. Oh, it's the work of the champion. Front kick, three punches afterwards. Switching stances, getting in, getting out, and you can see just how slow the counter punches are coming back from the daily. Leon Jacek going over, being a good sport there. Gedalia says, let's hold off on that maybe until these final five minutes are in the books. We'll see if Gedalia can get the takedown the Pedernaris had asked for. Could very well be 2-2 heading into this fifth and final round. Hey, she's got to dig deep. Oh, beautiful combination for the champion while she's backing up. Well, the truly elite strikers in the UFC can land while backing up. She is certainly among them. And again, fifth round of a championship fight. The body language, I mean. She looks like she can go seven rounds right no doubt. now. As we talked about, we said she doesn't act like someone who's reached the pinnacle. I mean, she trains, she works, she's got the mindset of a challenger, of someone who's got a chip on her shoulder. Yeah. Reminds me a lot of the Bantamweight champion, Dominic Cruz. Just never gets comfortable, never accepts where they are, always believes they can do better than another. Gorgeous wow. combination from Ioana. Take that attempt from Gedalia. She's got double underhooks. She's been able to take her down from here several times before. Does she have enough strength and energy left to do it? Under four minutes to go in this UFC Strawweight Championship. You know, Jake Check using the fence to her advantage. A nice work there from Gedalia trying to kick the feet. She try and pull her back off the fence. Maybe go the other direction and trip her the other side. Just an outstanding fight. Several momentum changes. Watch your fingers. There you go, Joanna. Joanna working hard defensively here, Brian, to stay upright. And she's pushing away the head, but she's still in a, in a difficult position here. Glad he's got the hands clenched. Now she loosens up the grip. And she's off. Nice job by Gedalia to get that right hand up, but the head kick still rattled her a bit. Three minutes to go. You saw some great timing on the right hands of Gedalia. She's got to look for opportunities. There's one. But still her best bet towards victory is to find a well-timed takedown here in the midst of one of the combinations from the champion. But it's very difficult to do when she's moving her feet like that and striking at range. Young yeah, Jacek coming up on landing nearly 200 significant strikes. 
just a machine and, and how quick she does it when you can get your hands out and back that fast. It makes sprawling and defending takedowns that much easier. Beautiful right hand there from Yuan. And she gets out of harm's way to evade the return shot from Gedalia. Nice left hand there by the Brazilian. The Brazilian's corner employing her to press forward. Just over two minutes now to go. Yeah, Claudia Gadea is showing just how tough she is. She's eight and seen some big, big punches. Keeps moving forward. Good job by the champion, rotating her back off the fence. Don't forget, as soon as this main event is over, a recap of all the action from Vegas on the post-fight show right after this main event here on FS1 or watch it live on Fox Sports Go. Champ trying to take the back of Gedalia. Excellent elbows from Ioana. Champion's corner telling her back away, forcing her to stand up. Smartly done by the champ. Back to the center of the octagon now, 80 seconds remain. Nice right hand yeah. there from Gedalia, yeah. good timing again. Not the sting maybe that was on her punches earlier, but she landed under one minute to go, fifth and final round to decide this UFC strawweight championship. Young Jacek working effectively off of that jab once again. But we've seen the champion dominate. Now tonight we saw her overcome some adversity in the earlier rounds and be very dominant here in the championship rounds. Neither one of these fighters has ever been finished. Gedalia showing off quite a chin. Oh. Huge right followed by the left. Punches in bunches, elbows mixed in. You're seeing the entire arsenal of Yolanda Yelchek check tonight. Oh, beautiful elbow. May have cut Claudia again. Good defense here from the champion, and stand up and cheer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48-46, 48-45, and 48-46 for the winner by unanimous decision. And